We know from recent brain research that the human brain cannot cope consciously with multiple things at the same time. In fact, it can really only attend to a few things at any given moment. That conflicts with the complex world of relationships, human relationships and engaging with large numbers of people, say, on a project or program. So how do we square these? How do we reduce it down to a smaller number of things we attend to? Well, in this video, I'd like to suggest that there are two things that will take us a long way in helping us be more effective in the way that we engage with people. Hello, my name is Patrick Mayfield, and I'm the author of Practical People Engagement. What we discovered in some research that we did a few years ago with the company I chair, Pierce Mayfield, is that there are two key behaviours all high-performing program and project managers share. And these are a leaning to action and a leaning to people. Leaning to action is a typical behaviour trait uh, of successful entrepreneurs, according to Professor Leonard Schlesinger, formerly of Harvard Business School. He's done some work on looking at the behaviour patterns of entrepreneurs, and they all share this with successful programme and project managers. They all move towards life. They're always, every day, testing the system, poking it to see what results they get. This isn't a reckless behaviour pattern, but they must see what happens when they take a certain step or other. This was true, we observed, pathologically in all of the uh, outstandingly successful program and project managers. They didn't wait to react to surprises or risks or whatever, but they were always worrying their project or program, always doing something. The second behaviour pattern was also very illuminating, leaning to people. We were particularly interested in what people chose to do with their time when they had a choice, what we call discretionary time during their working week. Now this discretionary time could vary enormously, but what we discovered was that the high performers, when they had a choice, invariably chose to use it more in leaning towards people in unscheduled ways. So if we discounted things like routine scheduled meetings, emails and so on, all of the kind of routine communications that uh, are part of our lives. We found that these people did extraordinary things like picking up the telephone and calling somebody, or getting out of their desks and going and seeing somebody, having unscheduled meetings, unscheduled uh, group swarms and so forth. Not so the majority. The rest of us were usually spending most of our time on our PCs, locked into preparing plans or reports or going through documents and reacting to emails. This leaning to people seemed to be a key discriminator in their success. We observed in our research that the outliers, the top 8% or so of our uh, survey population, spent something in between 40 to 80% of their discretionary time involuntarily leaning towards people. Whereas the majority, it was something between 8 to 12% of their discretionary time. That's a remarkable difference. So I've taken these two behaviour patterns, leaning to action and leaning to people, and turn them into a metaphor in my book called The Value Ladder. Think about a ladder. It's got two uprights that lean against a wall. Well, these two leanings, leaning to action and leaning to people, are the two uprights of the value ladder. And in the next video, I'll talk about the steps, the critical minimum steps in that value ladder. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to know more, visit my website, patrickmayfield.com.